Right now, we are at the Warner Brothers lot, getting the audience coordinated for the Big Bang Theory. BBT! Big Bang, Big Bang Theory. Bang. My name's Michael, I'm a page for Audiences Unlimited, and um, I audience coordinate and make sure that everybody gets in their right place. Basically, everyone lines up, I line them up in different lines. We have a few different guest lists that they can be on. General admission that they just get their um, tickets off of the internet. They range from the hundreds of people that show up. Other people just kind of line up and wait and hope for the best, and uh, that's what you see behind me. They're just hoping that they'll get in. We got our tickets a month and a half ago, and we're really, really excited. We've been counting down the days. We've been wanting to come and see this one. We've been trying just about every day to get tickets to it. We had an opportunity to be in the California area, and we saw that you guys were doing a taping today. We thought we'd be fools to miss it. Started coming near the end of season three, and I came to like the rest of those, and I've been coming all of this season two. First time this side, yeah. second time that side. My name is Mark Sweet, and it's referred to as the warm-up on the show. My job is to keep the audience informed and entertained throughout the entire evening. I've worked on 4,000 episodes of television shows, and on this particular show, from the pilot, from moment one, it was honestly, it was magical. <gasps> People dress up all the time. One of the, the biggest uh, dress-up shows is The Big Bang Theory. People come in with their comic book gear, their sci-fi stuff, and they go all out. Katie, what are you wearing? Bazinga, Sheldon. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, lizard, lizard Spock. Spock. And the friendship <laughs> algorithm. <laughs> this is how you make a friend. I think, to me, it's about understanding Amen. what geek <laughs> is about, you know, and <laughs> what nerds were thought of in the past, but now, you know, they're hip. Todd's a physicist. <laughs> Yeah, so is my dad, so this show hits pretty close to home. <laughs> my favorite part about Big Bang Theory is the fact that everyone's weird just like we are. I think that's why we relate so much. <laughs> Today we have a little bit over 200 people getting ready to see the show. Guys, go ahead. So many people show up from all over the world and everybody just is dying to get in. You know, they sell their left arm to get in and, you know, we can only let a few of them in. So that's kind of the hard part of this job. Okay, okay. there you go, guys. Okay, hang tight. Thanks. It's just a really unique experience. There's nothing like watching a sitcom taped live and being in the audience. It just sort of makes you feel like you're a part of the show in some way, part of the, the history. It's just fun to be a small part of something much bigger. I want to see, like, how they do it. How they, like, oh. film this stuff and how they, like, acting and stuff. It's, I think it's cool. I want to see the set. Yeah, yeah. What, what goes on behind the scenes, I think, yeah. would be really cool. It's just fun to see how the process is. I'm really into the entertainment industry. I want to work in it. Day. Definitely starts to laugh. I mean, I've been to the Comic Con panels and they're hilarious in person, so I know that anything they do, like any improv, is gonna be hilarious. We're just coming to have a good time. Anything will be fun for us. Yes. And to see Jim Parsons. Bazinga. Ladies and gentlemen, you're excited to be here tonight. Round of applause. <laughs> mission is simple tonight. All you need to do is to sit back, relax. Please do not identify your laughs. We're here last week. There was a guy in the back row. He goes, ah, ha, ha, Bernie Schwartz, Cleveland. <laughs> Please don't do that. By being here tonight, each and every one of you are officially part of television history. <laughs> Always right here, center stage, fixed set, Leonard and Sheldon's apartment. Penny's apartment's right over here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Parsons has taken the stage. And there's Mr. Johnny Galecki, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're about set to go. Penny and Leonard invited Howard and Bernadette to dinner. Amy wants Bernadette to act as a spy on Penny's behalf. Come in, Mark. And action!
Okay, see you later. Good news, I finally have a handle on my idea for three-person chess. That is good news, bye. It also allows for my new chess pieces. The serpent and the old woman. Okay, now I have to ask, what do they do? When the serpent slithers to an opposing player's piece, that piece is considered poisoned and will die after two more moves. Uh. All right. Unless it gets to the old woman in time, in which case she sucks out the poison, turning her into the Grand Empress. Elegant. That's because it's simple. <laughs>Sometimes they'll do a scene more than once. Typically, they'll do it twice to ensure they have a little backup for each scene in case something were to go wrong or there was a hair in the lens or something was wrong technically. And sometimes the scene will uh, be filmed more than twice, even three up to four times. And then they'll come back and do what's called a pickup sometimes and pick up a small piece of the scene. <laughs> So for the audience, even though they're watching a 30-minute show, sometimes an evening can run anywhere from three hours to up to five and a half hours. So we want to make sure everyone's engaged and uh, kept up to speed and keep them laughing. It was so much fun even to watch them retape the whole scene because it was going to be different. I really enjoyed how they do a couple takes and then change part of the wording or whatever and make it even funnier than it was before, like really get the punchline or go a whole different direction with it. And I thought that was neat to be able to see how they fix things. Is it going to be in 3D? <laughs> what? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to say 3D. That'll really get her goat. I'm going to say 3D. That'll get that little poop does goat. <laughs> I'm going to say 3D. That'll let her know the studio has faith in it. So now when we watch it, we're not necessarily going to know what, what's going to happen. Come on, keeps getting funnier, funnier, funnier. Maya B. Hey, I think we're moving on. How about a nice big can for moving on, everybody? What is your name? Emily. Welcome, and where are you from? France. I was in the middle of everything, front row, uh, center. I saw everything. It was really awesome. <laughs> I could not expect more. Here we go. And action. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just breaking in some new shoes. Did you know that women wear high heels to make the buttocks and breasts more prominent? I hadn't really thought about it. Look. Good night. Try not to ogle my caboose as I walk away. <laughs> I can feel you ogling. I loved in between scenes seeing them interact with each other, with the rest of the crew. I mean, it really seems like a family. Who else out there is willing to come up here? And you have your hand up? Come on, I saw this. The MC was keeping us entertained in between the takes, and that was kind of cool. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, Reese. Reese, where are you from? Canada. Yeah. Hey. 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 What are you doing in Canada? Uh, student. What are you studying in school? Igloo architecture. <laughs> you are in college studying igloo <laughs> architecture. Yes. I want you to face that way. I want you to face this camera right here and explain how an igloo is made. Well, I don't know. I haven't finished the course yet. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> They're going to do this once again. Coots for Polly's apartment, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what happens next. Excuse me, I'm gonna go wander the streets alone. Invisible, unwanted, and unloved. A pathetic shadow in a city with no heart. Aww. I forgot my windbreaker, it's chilly. <laughs> and that's a cut. Cut it, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do want you to give a tremendous applause to our director. Uh, do we have Mr. Mark? No. no. Uh, Mr. Mark Chandrowski! <laughs> Thank you.
What is your name? Christy. Hello, Christy. Adria. And Adria, look right this way. They're going to sing one of the favorite songs around here. Ready? Go. Soft kitty warm kitty little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Sir, do you believe in the show? Absolutely. Can I get an I believe? I believe. With feeling. With feeling. <laughs> Have a seat, sir. People so identify with this show that now I just tell them I know the show means a lot to you. You can really identify with this show. And if you just come up and tell me what this show means to you. And before I know it, there's a half a dozen or a dozen people that on their own volunteer and just come up. They know it. They love it. And they feel it. It actually makes all things math and science kind of cool in a, in a nerdy way. It's a celebration of all nerd and technology and mathematics, and that's just, that's a jubilation. I love the show because they're my people. Are you a rocket scientist? Yes. Wow, where do you work? I work in Boulder, Colorado. And what do you, what do, you do specifically? I build spaceships. Sheldon Cooper. Yeah! All right. I didn't expect that it would be shot um, chronologically. You would think that they would just do all in one area and then do in the other, and they didn't. What? I like cows. <laughs> That's not the point. It was its own point. Go on. It was nice that everything was uh, in order. We're at the coffee shop. Raj couldn't decide whether he should take an experimental drug to treat his social anxiety disorder. The action you're gonna witness here on the monitors. Action! What are you doing? Oh, just getting comfortable. <laughs> that was quite shocking <laughs> <laughs> when he took off his clothes, but they did that behind the curtain. I still tried to sneak a peek, but you know. <laughs> I bet you're an actress. If not, you should be. You have a very expressive face. Raj dropping trowel, that was a big surprise for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Wait, where are you going? We're doing so well. She never even got to see my penis. We don't know if you actually got fully naked, <laughs> but it looked like it from the angle that we saw. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, and then after this is perfect, it will be time for our curtain call. Checkmate on Sheldon. I knew I should have given my Pope the jetpack. <laughs> hey, I've got winners. This is a great one. We're grateful to you. We're ready to go. And right now, folks, we start with our guest cast. Uh, as Elsie, here is Whitney Avalon. Great big round of applause. I thought it was awesome. It was great to see all the actors and see how well prepared they are and kind of see the process that goes behind each episode that we get to see. Angela, say hi to Tiffany Dupont. As Priya, Artie Mack. It moves so fast. I mean, to do a, a half hour show and the amount of time, you know, I've been at other ones where it took a lot longer, I think. So they're really well um, prepared. Very organized, well prepared. Yeah. Amy, this is my Alex. I'm surprised how few mistakes the actors and actresses actually made. Bernadette, here is Melissa Rouch. <laughs> was one thing I wanted to do if I ever come to LA, this and going to a liquor game, so it's awesome. Bring it catch, good to Polly, can only air! Wallow it, say hi to Simon Helper! This is our first time uh, just to any show, seeing any show, live studio, and it was great. Ash Betty, Miss Kenneth, welcome! And about the letter, the incredible Johnny Galecki! Chuck Lurie! Dale Brady! We love you. We thank you for being here. Love 
Lots of great laughs. I mean, my face hurts from laughing so hard. Thanks, everybody. And you keep watching The Big Bang Theory. We love you. Good night.